Hey guys, welcome back to another video tutorial by Cafe and Codos. In this video, I am going to teach you how to add data to the combo box from the database. That is, you may be adding data to the combo box in the form load event like combo one dot add item on the stream. But today, I am going to teach you how to add directly from the database. So there may come a situation that whatever the things users has uh, selected in a form one should be reflected in a combo box two. Like if you had selected one, two, three, or added A, B, C records in the first form, then in combo box only A, B, C should be displayed. So you can do that dynamically when you connect to a database. So today I will teach you that. So let's get into it. Create a new project. So first thing is first, drag one combo box into the form and select drop down list. This is not mandatory. I am selecting this so it should be unique so that the, it is not editable by the user drop down list. Then the second thing is you need to connect to a database. How to do that? Right click here and click on components. Scroll down to Microsoft ADO DC 6.0 that is ADO data control apply close you can see that a uh, little guy appeared here yeah drag drag it to the form so how to connect to a database right click on it and go to ADO DC properties build a connection string select Microsoft Jet 4.0 next and locate the database here for this tutorial I have created a database called combo okay. test connection okay. okay apply so so the now connection is succeeded. So how to retrieve the values? So you want to embed a SQL query. How to do that? Go to record source tab here and select CMD text. Here in the command text that is you can see here SQL is mentioned there. Select distinct team from So here the team is the field in the table and combo is the table name. Uh, don't uh, confuse, I have given both database and table name as combo, I will show you that. And the uh, distinct is uh, the uniqueness. So select unique record, from, unique record from the team from the table combo, apply. So now the condition is done. I will show you, uh, go to Visual Data Manager 5 open database Microsoft practice combo here you can see I have given both combo for the database name and for the table name I have given combo in the SQL query you should give from table name not the database name if this is the table A then there you should give from table A in this I have given a field called team and it contains four values A, B, C, D okay so now how to connect combo to the database like already ADODC is uh, successfully connected to database you need to take the data from ADODC to combo box so double click on form in the form load event first ADODC one dot refresh so now each time it should loop until the end of the table that is there are 10 records then the condition should loop from 1 to 10 so that every value will be added to combo box. so how to do that with ADO DC 1 dot record set here ADO DC 1 dot record set means whatever the table that is record set, uh, record source we have given select star uh, select distinct team from combo so in that query do until dot EOF this means continue the loop until EOF EOF means end of file in the in the database EOF means end of file that means end of the record that is for that query if there are 10 records after 10 records EOS will be triggered there so do until EOF combo one dot add item normally you we have given combo one dot add item a like this string but for this example we need to connect it to a database and it need to retrieve from the table so 
exclamation square brackets and the field name there whatever the field name in the table that is team enter dot o next loop end with so here what it does first it will see that query and do uh, this condition will be I mean this uh, loop will be executed until dot .evof and after adding one if there are a b c d first it will add add item a for in the first loop the team will be a here then move next it will move to the next record in the same table that is b so until end of file it will loop and end with so it should work successfully now so you can see uh, a b c d as added here I will show you live example adding. I will add another couple of records here. Add caffeine. Add coda. You can see here those two add added here. Caffeine and coda. So this is a very easiest form to add data into the combo box so like that only you can add as many as combo box you can to connect to database and as many as field you can retrieve from the combo box and the condition is you can select you can retrieve only one field for one combo box that is in the team if there are couple of records like team and class are there in the table combo you cannot select both team and combo in the same combo box that is team and class in the same combo box you should add it will retrieve only one record per one combo box so guys hope you learned how to add data to the combo box from the database today if any queries please comment below and subscribe our channel and you can follow our facebook page fb.com slash caffeine coder or you can check out our blog caffeine coder dot wordpress dot com please subscribe and like thank you guys